Okay, today I'm going to show you the steps involved in redoing your hard drive on your laptop. It works the same for your PC as well, so home computer, or laptop, either will work. This is your original drive, mostly it says C. Um, this is where all your stuff is, your main hard drive, and this is a backup drive that I've hooked to it. So I'm going to take everything from C and I'm going to hop it over to E. Now I'm not going to take everything I want, I'm just going to take the files that are important, the pictures, the video, and I'm going to transfer it from my C drive to my backup drive that I just take with me for, you know, if I lose anything, or I always have a place with my main information and programs. Okay, so again, you're going to take anything you want off your original drive and put it onto a backup drive, burn it onto a disk, whatever you want. Okay, now that you've gotten everything off of your disk, your C drive, your main hard drive that holds all your information on your computer, we're going to delete it all. So, you don't have to do anything but shut down the computer, open up your disk drive, and put in your installation CD, or your emergency uh, restoration CD. But, if you don't have a restoration CD that came with it, you can use... Uh, System Restore, just when the computer starts up, hit F8, or F12, or F10. You'll have to see the little thing at the bottom. Anyways, um, you will restart with the CD in, and we'll take it from there. Okay, after you, after you pop in your CD, power up your computer. And you'll see it'll say press any key. Press any key, literally. It inspects your configuration so it knows what it's doing. You don't need to press F6 unless you're doing an automated system recovery but you're not, so don't worry about F2, setup is doing everything normally, so it loads all the files and then it will bring you to the next screen I'm about to show you. Okay, setup is starting Windows. We are going to go and press escape for don't repair. Now it brings you up to a screen. You know, if you skip ahead to any of this, this is fine because it all gets you to the same place. Um, partition right here. This is my hard drive. Unpartitioned space. Basically, if something horrible happens, it's got 7 megabytes it can store something in. But... I have a 160 gigabyte hard drive, so it's saying that I have 100 gigabytes free. Now, this is the most important part. This is how we delete it. To delete the selected partition, press D. So there's our hard drive, the C drive I showed you before. We're going to hit, that's right, you guessed it, D. Now it's going to say, the partition you tried to delete is a system partition. It's making sure that you know you're deleting your actual hard drive. Then it goes down to say to delete this partition, press enter. Setup will prompt you for confirmation again before deleting. They want to make sure you're absolutely sure and you're not just messing with it. To go back to the previous screen without selecting the partition, so if you're checking it out right now, hit escape. And don't bother finishing to watch the rest. But if you understand it, you want everything wiped off your computer and you want to start new to delete with this partition press enter enter now it says again to confirm it you ask setup to delete the partition the C drive all of it on how many megabytes it has to delete press L and again press escape if you don't want to but just so you know 
process. To delete, press L. So, we're going to press L. 